Hello everyone. Today I have come back with another presentation for you all. And this time I am going to present about Mrs. Vidya Devi Bhandari, the president of Nepal, or by her official title we should call her the Right Honorable President of Nepal. And if she travels abroad as the head of the state of Nepal, then she is referred to as Her Excellency. And you can see a picture of her and my information. Of course, you all know me very well, so I don't have to talk much about that. So let's move on. So profile of the president of Nepal. Let's start from her very birth. And she was born in 1961 AD. And her birthplace was Gurase village, Bhojpur. And this village is kind of like the average village of Nepal. So you can also assume that she came from an average family. And you may have remembered uh, some weeks ago we had the meeting with the chief minister of province one, Shirdhan Rai, and he's also from here. And her father and mother are Ram Bahadur Pandey and Mithila Pandey and she has four siblings and so you may assume her maiden name is also Pandey and her spouse or husband is the late Madan Bhandari and he died in kind of like a mysterious way and his death is considered as uh, like a conspiracy because he and his colleague were traveling uh, somewhere and they fell in the Trishuli river, but somehow the driver survived. So it is considered as the conspiracy and His and the president's daughters are Nisha Kusum Bhandari and Usha Kiran Bhandari So here you can see a picture of the president with her husband and Here is a picture of them with their children So let's start with her political career she studied in Bhojpur campus and Mohendra Morang campus where she started her political career as a student as well and she was involved in the anti-panchayat movement and the left politics which is the communism which basically fights for the equality in all classes of the society and also for the free students union which basically works for the welfare of the students. And she was elected as the member of parliament from the vacant seat of her late husband Madan Bhandari in 1993 and for two other successive terms including two terms as the constituent assembly member. Also central committee member of the communist party of Nepal UML from 1997-80 to 2007-80. And here you can see like uh, we can call it the White House of Nepal because it is the office of the president of Nepal. It is called Sheetal Nivas. Let's continue on with her political career. She was the Minister for Population and Environment in 1997-80 and Minister for the Defense from 2010 to 2012-80. And she was also chairperson of All Nepal Women Association from 2007 to 2015. So all Nepal Women Association basically works for the welfare of the women and she was the chairperson of that. And at the same time when she was the chairperson of all Nepal Women Association, she was also the vice chairperson of the Communist Party of Nepal from 2007 to 2015. And not only that. She is also the architect behind the constitutional and legal provision of 33% reservations for women in all sectors of governance and that basically means 33% if there are three people then at least one of them should be a woman and she didn't do this alone. Uh, she led the inter-party women's alliance which means that basically all women from whichever uh, party they are they still work together for this and here you can see a picture of her and the present Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Deva and here down here you can see the picture of her and the, His Excellency the Chinese President Xi Jinping 
Bidya Devi Bhandari as a president. She was elected as the president on 20th October 2015 for the first term and on 13th March 2018 for the second term. So that basically means in 2023 her second term as president will be over. And she is the first woman president of Nepal and as you may know there are only two presidents till now so she is also only the second president of Nepal and in the developed country like USA also till now there are 46 presidents current being Joe Biden and he's also a man obviously but they are in such developed country also there is no woman as president till now so in our uh, country if there is woman as president it is a very big deal and also she is the head of the state and supreme commander in chief of Nepal army and she is also the symbol of national unity and protector of the constitution so here you can see her when she got elected as president and here you can see her in an official program uh, if you want to know more about the president of Nepal follow the following link of the official website of the office of the president of Nepal so here is the website link you may follow it if you are curious about this all so thank you everyone hope you learned something new from my presentation and have a good day ahead